So the grind don't stop, don't stop, we're calling the Sicily. Uh, uh, ATC on top, we're calling the Sicily. Uh, uh, gotta drop some, drop some, drop some, we're calling the Sicily. Uh, if I like that shirt, subscribe, do that for Sicily. Uh, uh, so the grind don't stop, don't stop, we're calling the Sicily. Uh, uh, ATC on top, we're calling the Sicily. Uh, what's up atc gang welcome back to another video before we get started i'm giving you all the overview so you see what we are working with this is my youtube office and yes it's a hot mess it's never been organized since we moved in so this collab gave me the perfect opportunity to get on it so to the two hosts thank you ladies so much i appreciate the opportunity when y'all get done watching my video, make sure you head over to their channels. Everything will be linked in the description box below. All right, y'all. Let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to start with is the bookshelf. My son loves that we found his bubbles. I'm just going to start by clearing everything off. I know you can't tell, but... I literally know where everything on this shelf is. It's my supplies. I go to it, but, I, but you know, this is chaotic. And I feel like you have less clutter and less stress in your life when things look a certain way. So the first thing I did was remove everything from the bookshelf. I gave it a good wipe down. And then after that, I will grab some paint. So this painting, this shelf, like it was a beast, y'all. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. If I could have showed all of the steps, like this video would be super long. So I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. Um, so like I said, I'm going to wipe it down and then I'll show you guys the supplies that I use to paint. Um, these supplies came from Walmart. So I basically got some backlight neon paint, some um, of the Waverly chalk paint and some glitter. I added the glitter for texture. Uh, so I'm just going to add these two and although it's a bright, bright um, neon pink, once everything is mixed up, you'll see it becomes rather pale pink so that it can match my uh, pink and white chair that is behind me. My son is just all up in the mix and just ready to get his hands on any and everything that mommy is doing. Now that we got the first layer of paint on the bookshelf, I'm going to take this time to use these baskets that I found, um, I want to say at Family Dollar. Um, yeah, I think I got them at Family Dollar. And to be honest with you, I would not purchase them again there because they were pretty pricey. But I know it's not too often that I find pink baskets. So I just went ahead and got them because I needed them for today's video. So I'm just organizing all of the supplies that were on the bookshelf so I can begin to clean off the floor so this room can start to look like something. So for any of you all that are new to my channel, um, I just want to say hello. My name is Cicely. I am um, a disabled mom of two young boys. I'm disabled by way of sickle cell anemia. That's an inherited red blood order disease. Um, I felt it was important for me to make content showing you that if I can get up and take care of my home and still have a good life, even through hospitalizations, you can make it through whatever you have going on. You can do it and we can do it together. So I enjoy posting videos like this one, which would include decorating, organizing. Sometimes we do um, some cooking and vlogs and I love to do home decor. 
So if that sounds like something you're interested in and you want to learn more about my journey, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe bell. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you know anytime we post a new upload. We would love to have you join the family. All right, y'all. This room is kind of sort of getting there, but as you know, with any organization, it takes time. Okay, warning guys, this video is a little long. It's about 20 something minutes, but this was hours of footage. So for my um, organizers and cleaners that you know, if you need the motivation and you wanna really clean with me and see this whole process, feel free to keep right on watching. For those who just wanna see the good stuff and see the reveal, I'll put the timestamp on the screen um, so you see the part where I do the walkthrough of the aftermath once everything is finished. Either way, I appreciate you for stopping by and making it this far in the video. All right, y'all, let's see what else I can get into. You know it's creeping up on me. This frostbite gets deep into my bloodstream Just trying to make the most of it Babe, I miss your body Guys, we are starting something new called a subscriber shout out So if you would like to be shout out in the next video Go ahead and leave me a comment that's all you gotta do. I'm hoping for some brighter days. Cause I'm falling in the snow, it's getting me deep You make some kind of fire within me It's almost like it's burning through my skin Make myself feel warmer when you're near Whenever you're near Alright y'all, so now that we got my desk area nice and organized and clean I'm just showing you the second round of paint that I went out and purchased, this stuff was about 50 bucks. So that color was bright magenta. That's what I was gonna use on the shelves. I got some Mod Podge and then more glitter. And all of this right here is glow in the dark pink paint. Yes, it's gonna glow in the dark. I'm super excited. So that's the color you see me putting on now. And while I was doing that, my boyfriend was kind enough to put together a white cabinet so that I could have storage for all of my Cricut supplies. I want to say it probably took him an hour to put this cabinet together and it wasn't that hard at all. I really recommend it because it gave me a lot of storage and it was really sturdy. It didn't feel cheap at all. So now that I have the inner layer, you guys can see the difference in the color of pink kind of. I'm going to go ahead and put my shelves back on and we can begin the organization process. We are finally done cleaning, you guys. All right, let's get into some of this organization. Okay, so everything is nice and clean so I can begin putting my stuff away. I left this uh, larger opening right here on the bookshelf for my Cricut. It can actually stay there because you load the Cricut from the front. And I'm gonna add my two smaller baskets at the top and they just have like painting, paint and crafting supplies. Those are the two I reach for the most. 
in the middle I put some of my favorite books and journals um, just you know for cute decor so I can access them this sign I'll hang up on the wall and you'll see it during the reveal on the third shelf I feel like I put two more baskets but they were larger in size that's all that would fit one was for paper crafts and the other was for my nail um, you know nail supplies so now we're gonna go over and put together my four drawer dresser that my boyfriend did for me so I'm just gonna put this little picture frame up here to the side so that I can always have my family with me if you are still here this far go ahead and leave this emoji in the comments I thank you for sticking it out with me and I just want to tell you that I appreciate your support it does not go unnoticed so right here is just like Valentine's Day decor. I bought it in February, but because we moved in March, I never got a chance to utilize it. So now I can have it in my office because it matches and I'll be ready when the season comes around next. Leave me a comment, let me know. Do you have a home office? And if you do, is it nice and organized or is that a project that you have to work on? If so, I really hope this video gave you the motivation to go ahead and knock any projects out that you have. All right, y'all. So we are basically almost done. The only thing I have to do left is put my computer up on the table. Then I'll put my artwork on, on the walls. That I did off camera. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and stock my first and second drawers. And it'll be time for the reveal. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I believe my next video will probably be an office tour. So leave me a comment if you're interested in seeing a detailed office tour. All right, y'all be blessed.